defining our seasons and the 12 month calendar thousands of years before the invention of clocks or watches. The lunar month is one of the original building blocks of time. The passage of the moon around the earth is one of the most fundamental influences on timekeeping. It should be no surprise then that mechanical watches with the ability to measure the phases of the moon have always been a part of Swiss watchmaking. At renowned watchmaker Jeger Le Coultre, the moon phase display features on some of its most iconic models. So where better to unravel the mysteries of one of watchmaking's least understood complications? The moon phase display plays two roles, functional and aesthetic. Often, it appears on watches like this, Master Calendar Automatic. The watch already displays the day, date and month, so there's a certain logic to its presence. As time-telling tools go, knowing the moon's exact position isn't in quite the same league as knowing what day of the week it is. But this is how it works. The moon phase window, you'll notice, takes the form of a semicircle with two bumps on its straight edge. These play the role of the Earth's silhouette, at the start of the lunar month, the little golden moon emerges from behind the Earth on the left and traverses the dial until it drops slowly behind the Earth on the right. Thus, you can see at a glance if the moon is coming or going and how much of it should be visible. So that's what it does. The other aspect of the moon phase is how it looks. It certainly adds a little visual flourish. The waxing and waning of the moon is more romantic and symbolic than the meticulous procession of the days and weeks, and watchmakers have always embraced the opportunity to depict it with flair. The blue and yellow of the stylized sky in its semicircular window adds vibrancy and color to an otherwise restrained design. Elsewhere, moon phases are often added to more elegant, dressy watches, precisely because of their characterful nature as we can see on this master ultra-thin moon. This watch isn't one you wear when you're worried about the date, but adding a moon phase subdial at six o'clock allows Jeger Le Coultre to sneak in a regular date display around its edge for a very subtle piece of practicality. Primarily though, the moon phase is there for its looks. Close examination reveals the depth, texture, and fine mirror polish of the rose gold moon and stars. The attention to artistry and symbolism doesn't mean there isn't some serious number crunching at work behind the dial. A moon phase complication takes its energy from the center wheel of the movement, which rotates once an hour. This drives another wheel at a ratio of one to two, taking it from a complete rotation of 12 hours to 24 hours. This wheel has a finger which drives the moon disc, advancing it by one increment per day. The simplest moon phase watches will go out of sync with reality in less than three years, because the lunar month is an extremely awkward length, 29 days, 12 hours and 44 minutes, and there's a necessity to approximate that to a whole number of teeth on the wheel. Basic moon phases therefore use a 59 tooth wheel, but more advanced ones use finer increments to achieve greater accuracy. Jeger Le Coutre's moon phase complication which is identical in both of the watches here, has been calculated to ensure that once set, the phase of the moon will be accurate for 122 years. As with so much of the finest Swiss watchmaking, the simplicity of the end result is deceptive. <laughs>